taking a break to deal with stress and pressure. Not Todd, but students will now be allowed to have some time away from the classroom. That's right. A bill signed by Governor Steve Sisolak is paving the way to address students' mental health head on. The move could save lives in the process as well. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live at CCSD headquarters with how this bill will help students. Yeah, Ross and Trisha, this is a significant victory for mental health advocates, especially for school aged children who have gone through so much during this pandemic. The high school students I spoke with say they believe this new law will help save lives. The pandemic has been a roller coaster for so many students and was no different for these students from Bishop Gorman High School. We went from such busy schedules to basically a whole entire different world. A world where schools shifted to distance learning and not being able to see friends as often. The students say this has caused their peers to take mental health days as unexcused absences. A break from the schoolwork, the pressure. Um, sometimes it's just like taking a sick day. It's just as important as your physical health. Now it will be easier. SB 249 was signed into law by Governor Steve Sisolak Monday. It will allow mental and behavioral health professionals to excuse student absences from school and gives every student three mental health days. If students are taking a couple mental health days, maybe check up on them, make sure everything's going all right with them. State Senator Marilyn Dondero Loop, a sponsor of the bill, says the experiences with her own grandchildren emphasize the need to give students help. I've watched them even this year struggle with their studies and emotionally as they were away from their friends and all their activities. Dr. Sheldon Jacobs, a certified mental health professional, says the legislation comes at a good time. He says in recent months, he gets at least two to three calls a day from parents whose kids may be dealing with depression or anxiety. Dr. Jacobs believes he and other mental health doctors will play an active role in giving mental health days. As a mental health professional, I think it puts us more in the forefront when it comes to, you know, ensuring that our youth are, uh, you know, are mentally well. He says professionals like himself will be gatekeepers to ensure no student is playing hooky from school. As professionals, we will know, uh, you know, hopefully right away if, if, uh, if a youth is, you know, actually really, you know, having a mental health issue or, or, or not. The Bishop Gorman students believe this new law can advance the conversation about student mental health and give their peers an option if they need it. Just having those mental health days as kind of a backup in case you need something to lean on, I think is a really great resource. Now, this new law will also have hotlines printed on student IDs to both local and national mental health crisis resources. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.